Welcome to this Algebra 2 session on inequalities in one variable. So today we're going to be looking at representing unbounded intervals using interval notation and solving inequalities and giving the solution set graphically and using interval notation. So when we say graphically, right now we're just talking about just on a number line. So the first one we have here is solve 3x minus 7 less than 2. Also graph your solution on a number line and write with interval notation. So we use our same steps for solving as we do a normal equation, even though it's an inequality sign. So what we do is we're isolating the x on one side, so we add 7 to both sides. That gives us 3x less than 9, and divide both sides by 3, and we get x less than 3. So right now, this is set builder, considered set builder notation. If we were to enclose this with braces and the x such that x is less than 3, that would be set builder notation. We're going to talk about what it looks like with interval notation after we graph it on a number line. So we have 0, and I'm not going to put all of the numbers. I'm going to put a 3 and a negative 3. So we are doing x less than 3, so we have an open circle on the 3, and we are it says less than 3, so we are going to the left. We want numbers that are less than 3. Now, I put it, notice I put an open circle because I have the less than sign. If I'm using less than or greater than, I want an open circle on my number line. So, set our interval notation has, uses parentheses and brackets. And it also uses the infinity symbol. Since we are going in the negative direction to infinity, the interval notation will be the negative sign in the infinity symbol first, and a parenthesis, and then it will have the 3. So it looks like an ordered pair, because you have two numbers inside either a parenthesis and a bracket, two parentheses, or two brackets, depending on the problem. So we, the 3 has an open circle. It's not included in my solution, so I use a parenthesis. So we use parentheses We use parentheses when we have an open circle, meaning the point is not included in our solution set. We also use the open circle when it is a less than or greater than symbol. All right, moving on. Solve x over 3 plus 2 less than or equal to 5. Also graph it on a number line and write the interval notation. So we have x divided by 3 plus 2 less than or equal to 5. So to solve, I want to isolate the x again. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And I will have x divided by 3 less than or equal to 3. The 3 is dividing x. So I'm going to actually multiply both sides by 3. And that will give me x less than or equal to 9. So I'm looking for numbers that are less than or equal to 9. And all the ones that we're doing are over the set of real numbers. In your lesson, you're going to see where they want sometimes whole numbers or integers. But we've talked about what whole numbers and integers are. So if you need to review those, you should do that. I'm going to put 0, 9, and negative 9 on my number line. I want numbers that are less than, or e less than or equal to 9, so that means I'm using a closed circle. And I'm going to the left here because I want less than. So my numbers are going to be 9 and those numbers that are less than, or less than 9. So for, for interval notation, 
We're going to negative infinity, since we're going to the left. Parenthesis, we'll have the parenthesis negative infinity, and then we'll have the 9. And now because it is a closed circle, that means that 9 is included in my solution set. Because it says less than or equal to, that means 9 is included in my solution set, so I use a bracket with the 9. So brackets, let's write this down. Brackets are used when the point is included in your solution set. And it's an open circle, I'm sorry, a closed circle on the number line. And we use the bracket when we have less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Um, it is standard to use the parentheses um, with infinity. So that's why you'll see I have the parentheses there. And last but not least, we're going to do one that's a little bit longer, a lot more algebra that needs to be done. x minus 5 greater than or equal to negative 2 times x minus 3. Sorry about that, I was doing plus. <coughs> plus 1. So I want to solve for x. You'll notice I have x on each side of the inequality. So I'm going to need to first deal with the parentheses, though, which means I'll distribute the negative 2 through the parentheses. So that will give me x minus 5 greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 6 plus 1. I need to do some combining of like terms on the right. I can add my 6 and 6 plus 1 together to give me x minus 5 greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 7. And I want to get my x variables on one side and my numbers on the other. So I am going to add 2x to both sides of the equation, which will give me 3x minus 5, because remember this is a 1x. So 3x minus 5 greater than or equal to 7. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides to get the x by itself. And I will have 3x greater than or equal to 12. Divide both sides by 3, and we get x greater than or equal to 4. So on a number line, see what this looks like. I'm going to put 0, 4, and negative 4. And we want numbers that are greater than or equal to 4. So again, closed circle because it's greater than or equal to. And this time I'm moving right. So for the interval notation, um, this time the number will be on the left and it will be with the bracket because it is, a, it is greater than or equal to and it is a closed circle. So 4 will be in the bracket and we're moving right to infinity so it will be a positive infinity. Or you may just be infinity without the plus sign for positive and a parenthesis. Now, just to refresh your memory, since I did not cover this, um, I, we happen to not have any negatives with our variable. So let me just quickly point out, if you come across an inequality and you get to this point where you have something like negative 2x greater than or equal to 18. For me to solve this, I have to divide both sides by negative 2. Well, if you recall from your work with the inequality symbols, when you're dividing or multiplying by a negative, the variable, and or both sides of the equation, you need to switch the direction of the inequality sign. So it's going to be x less than or equal to negative 9. So just to refresh your memory on that, I'm dividing by a negative number, so I need to switch the direction of my inequality sign. And that ends the session on inequalities in one variable.